get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start sir i am very grateful to the honorable members who have taken part in the general discussion on the budget for the current financial year i would like to express my thanks to the honorable members for their valuable suggestions i hope that they will go a long way in helping the government in its day to day administration the government while drafting the budget proposals have taken due care about the social and economic development of the people of this state in this connection i would even say that we have analyzed our past performance and planned for the tasks which we have to carry out in the future you are all aware that the aim of our government is to give an efficient clean administration i hope you will appreciate the sincere efforts taken by us to achieve this goal during these 3 years first of all i would like to remind you that the government are taking steps to eradicate corruption at all levels whenever a new scheme is announced there is hue and cry that it is meant for somebody to earn in some way or the other i would like to take this opportunity to remove this apprehension i assure this august house that our government would leave no stone unturned to see that the benefits of the schemes really reach the sections of people for whom they are intended at the same time i request the officials to see that there is no room for any complaint in this regard some honorable members said that only through proper maintenance of law and order the benefits of the schemes formulated by the government would reach the people fully i do not like to differ from this view there have been caste clashes in the southern district for the past several years as a matter of fact we have brought them under control due to firm action and the keen interest evinced by the government to promote the spirit of religious harmony i am very happy to inform you that law and order is now being well maintained in our state without any major incident in the past one year i hope you will accept that adequate provisions have been made in the budget for each and every scheme if more money is required to complete the schemes the government will readily come forward to provide the same as quickly as possible we will not hesitate to attend to the needs of the poor people i would like to request the members to bring to the notice of the government such things as and when necessary though we have geared up the official machinery to meet any kind of situation at the field level i hope you will accept the fact that it is the primary duty of the honorable members to get in touch with the government for setting things right at the earliest 
before concluding i would like to thank you once again for your suggestions letter dated 10th may 1997 from mrs maruti garments coimbatore to mrs gayatri dresses chennai dear sirs we thank you for your letter of the fifth instant as required by you we will be sending the latest price list of garments meant for children through our sales representative he will be at your place next week with all the details that may be needed by you regarding the latest variety of dresses we have no doubt that you will place orders to the tune of rupees 2 lakhs for which we offer 20 percent commission at this juncture it is needless to point out that we are one of the leading manufacturers of children garments in this part of our country our internal market is growing day by day today to meet the growing needs of our clients we are opening our factories in leading cities in this connection we are happy to inform you that we will be establishing one such factory at chennai shortly for which we have already located a suitable place you can have direct dealings with us after our new factory is opened we solicit your continued patronage and cooperation thanking you yours faithfully